Welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. Today the topic of our discussion is difference between DNA and RNA in detail. First of all, starting with the basic difference that is in structure. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid where the sugar is deoxyribose. And this is the structure of a nucleotide, the building blocks of a DNA molecule. A nucleotide consists of a nitrogenous base, a sugar and a phosphate group. In the case of DNA, this sugar is deoxyribose. In the second carbon position, there is hydrogen atom. Whereas in the case of RNA, RNA is riponucleic acid. Here the sugar is ribose. There is not much difference in structure. This is a phosphate group and this is the nitrogen space and this is a sugar. In RNA, the sugar is ribose. In the second carbon position, there is hydroxyl group. In the case of DNA, it is hydrogen. That's why DNA is called as deoxyribose, where an oxygen atom is missing. Whereas in the case of RNA, it is OH group. And this is a basic difference between DNA and RNA. DNA is double-stranded and self-duplicating and is comparatively more stable, whereas RNA is single-stranded, not self-duplicating and is less stable. DNA is double-stranded, whereas RNA is single-stranded. The stability of this DNA is due to the presence of this hydrogen group at the second position, Whereas in the case of RNA, it is ribose sugar. At the second position, there is OH group, hydroxyl group, which is more reactive. So that RNA is more reactive compared to DNA, making it less stable. Now moving into the second difference, that is also regarding the structure. This is regarding the presence of nitrogenous bases. The bases in DNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. And these are the four bases. Adenine and guanine are two-ringed and are called as purines. But a cytosine and thymine are single ringed and is called as pyrimidines. It is very easy to remember these. These pyrimidines PY and cytosine also, thymine also, both are having the letter Y. Whereas in the case of RNA, the bases are same except thymine. In place of thymine, there is uracil in RNA. And these are the nitrogenous bases in DNA. The thymine is replaced by uracil. That's the only difference in nitrogenous bases. Now the third difference that is regarding the occurrence. DNA is a genetic material in all organisms that is from bacteria to blue whale, from single celled to multicellular organism. Whereas RNA is not at all a genetic material in organisms, it is genetic material only in some viruses like retroviruses. Regarding the location, DNA occurs inside nucleus and also present in semi autonomous organelles like mitochondrion and chloroplast, whereas RNA is primarily seen in cytoplasm. Difference number four that is regarding the types. There are two types of DNA. First one is intranuclear or nuclear DNA. And this is a DNA that stores genetic information and that will be transferred to the next generation. Whereas extranuclear or organellar DNA, that's a DNA that is present in semi-autonomous organelles like mitochondrion in eukaryotic cells and also chloroplast in plant cells. And these organelles are called as semi-autonomous organelles because majority of the proteins for these particular organelles are coded by nuclear genes. Only some proteins are coded by mitochondrial and chloroplast genes. That's why it's called as semi-autonomous organelles. Whereas RNA, RNA, there are three types of RNA. mRNA, that directs protein synthesis, that is involved in transcription. RRNA, that is the building blocks of ribosome. Whereas tRNA, that acts as adapter molecule during protein synthesis or translation. Difference number five, that is regarding function. DNA is a genetic material in all organisms. It is responsible for the storage of genetic information and transfer of genetic information from one generation to another. It is capable of self-duplication. It is having self-repair mechanism. It is capable of self-duplication. Copies are made and that is distributed to daughter cells. It also directs protein synthesis. All the proteins required for the cells are coded in information as DNA or nucleotide information. This code actually directs the synthesis of proteins required for the cell. And then their process is called the central dogma of biology, where DNA directs the synthesis of protein through an mRNA. Whereas RNA, the function is to direct protein synthesis. It helps in protein synthesis. First in the scene is mRNA, messenger RNA. That is, messenger RNA is formed during transcription. This DNA template is converted to mRNA. One strand is used as a template and this code is decoded to mRNA. And that process is called as transcription. And the next step, these codons will be recognized by anticodons of tRNA. tRNA will act as adapter molecule with amino acids at one end. And sequentially, amino acids are added by this tRNA molecule. So this acts as an adapter molecule during protein synthesis. 
And finally, rRNA. rRNA is a major constituent of ribosome, the proteins in the sizing nanomachines on which proteins or polypeptide chains are made. These are the functions of RNA, mRNA that is involved in transcription, tRNA acts as an adapter molecule in polypeptide chain formation, whereas rRNA, that is a major constituent of ribosome. And many RNA are with enzymatic activity and are called as ribozymes. It, it was believed that once there was an RNA world where this RNA is capable of storing information and also capable of doing enzymatic activity of present-day proteins and RNA could do all these things, storage and also the activity of proteins. Later, specific molecules are evolved as DNA and proteins. The presence of ribozymes is often cited as a strong evidence for the presence of an RNA world. Hope things are clear. You are with biologyexamsorry.com.